Okay, welcome back. We got a, a new George here for Gary in Minnesota. So let's, uh, I did that right this time. Let's take a look at this one here. So we're just trying to work through the orders little by little here. I apologize for <clears throat> the delay on the orders here. Um, my job is a, usually a five day a week job. Uh, split days off so I don't get back to back but uh, with the four day work week it makes it a little harder so I can get home later and I usually try to complete some orders after work every day when possible um, and it's been really hard to do that this week so I do apologize for that I'm working through them as quick as I can when time allows so please be, uh, be patient no one is really you know I think everybody kind of understands already and you know I, I do these as quickly as I can I don't like to make customers wait but I feel bad you know um, I know when I buy something like I've said before I get excited and it's a level of you know you you're waiting for your product and stuff so uh, I'm right there with you I enjoy using this stuff just as them as like anyone else honestly I haven't even had a chance to really sit with one of these and actually use my own yet so uh, I'm looking forward to doing that uh, once I get caught up and stuff so Sometimes my own enjoyment has to wait because I want these radios to get go out to the customers and, uh, you know, I'll always have time later to enjoy one of these for myself. So a um, little bit of testing I've done. They work really good and everything. I've sat here and uh, listened to one for a while one day while I was working on some other stuff. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up putting one like right here on top of the unit end base or something. It's going to go like right up here and probably just hook like an external speaker up to it or something that way, you know the speaker is underneath so anyways that's enough about that we're going to get started here with gary's radio okay gary got it all set for you here so just a little quick adjustment and everything's working good so we'll come up here to the power meter this is uh sideband it's actually upper sideband on channel 20 but um this is going to be the power output on the high power setting which is rf power of level 10 so it's about 30 watts peak there at the maximum maybe eh, just maybe a touch more there too so um i'm using the factory president microphone this microphone here is what i'm talking on one of my own here that i just plug in and that's that's what the radio does so it's pretty impressive you know very uh, impressive radio for uh, just a regular CB radio. There's uh, nothing that ever has come close to this before. So that's good. Um, so if you look at the if you look at the front of the radio, you're going to see the power indicator. It's not always going to fully extend over to the right. That's kind of normal with these. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be too alarmed with that. You know, it's not a a free moving like uh, you know every time you speak you're gonna slam the corner over there but you can see at times it does so um, we'll go to the RF power setting here when you TX you just press the button so I'm gonna drop this down to like level one okay so that's the low power setting so even on low power here you're still gonna get like five watts out of it well, that's good um, and then let's say at like level five so at level five here, it's gonna do about half the power, maybe just a little more than half. So still really good. So if you don't need it all the way up, I would run it a little less. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, let's plug it in and look at the two-tone here. It looks really nice with these. So there's that, looks awesome. And then this is on uh, the spectrum analyzer. So right on channel 20. I mean, it's just absolutely outstanding. So there is no uh, noticeable distortion at all with these. I mean, the, it, it is so clean. This is like an HF radio right here. You're getting the quality sideband of an HF radio in a 40 channel CB. And that, to this point, we've never seen something like that. So this is outstanding. Um, that's why I want to use one of these for myself for CB because I, I'm just like, wow. Um, and the things that I see that impress me may not impress other others because they don't have the ability maybe to see these things. But uh, yeah, it's it's really good. So let's go back to AM, FM. I set you to one watt all the way down. So when you key up on FM at level one here, that would be one watt, and level ten would be four, and anywhere in between would be whatever what it would whatever it would come out to be. Is what I'm trying to say. If I can stop mumbling. Um, 
so on AM, low power of about one watt or so. So of course on low power, you're gonna do quite a bit less. Um, it's usually on these about three to four, somewhere in that range. So, you know, one watt carrier, probably most wouldn't use this radio here, but uh, that's what you're gonna expect to see like right there. Um, then if you turn it up some to like level five, let me actually do this because it's picking up my voice through this mic. It's about two and a half watt carrier. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, check, check, check. One, two, one, two, hello, radio. One, two, three, four, five, check, check, check. A little bit more power there. So that would be perfect with uh, one of those little small uh, 203s or something like that. If somebody was wanting to run that, that would be perfect for that. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then if we go all the way up, set this all the way up to level 10. Let's see what it does on AM. So on AM, you can kind of see a little bit more meter fluctuation. That's okay um, with the modulation. So you'll see that looks a little more probably what most would want to see. Hello, check, check. Hello. So there's that. just a hair over four watts all the way up you can see on the average it actually jumped up to like nine there for a minute um, go to the peak so on the peaks here when we speak with this president factory electric mic we're seeing somewhere in the 20 range there 24 so it's about a six time increase from the carrier so these are very proportion to the RF power again wherever the RF power is that's about what you're gonna see is you know, the higher the RF power goes, the more peak watts you're going to see. And that's normal. That's how radio should work. So I'm not alarmed or anything by that. I think it's a good thing. So about 25. So these are um, a little bit more on sideband, which is good because I don't think too many would buy this if you weren't a sidebander because it is a good sideband radio. And uh, a lot of guys have said in the past that they were waiting for a nice president sideband radio. And uh, this is it. This is the one. So this is definitely the, the best one I've seen by President. Um, better than the McKinley's by a long shot and all that. Um, 980 doesn't come close to this. So I, I really enjoy the radio. And that's just me testing them here on my test setup. I really need to still uh, set some time aside when I can get it to actually use one for my own personal enjoyment. All right, here is the... This is the AM modulation with the RF all the way up. I'm just going to show you that. So with the tone, it's more like about 90%. That's how they tell you to set it. And I found that you kind of need to. Um, there's not much of an adjustment that is made here. If you over adjust this, it will look better here. But what happens with voice is uh, it starts to really get uh, dirty. Um, actually, when you over, when you get it as, as much as you can here, it actually starts to flatline. It flatlines, and then it looks horrible up here. It starts to like spread out and just be nasty. So, it's recommended to leave it around 90 on these, is what I find, which is still sounds really good. And then when you speak with the microphone, it's going to reach that 100% mark anyway. So it's a uh, the AMC in this is a little less aggressive um, on voice and more aggressive on tone. And that's how the Aries works too uh, for the guys that are the QT40. For the guys that may have test equipment and stuff, I find that um, the Aries is a little more aggressive on the tone. And then with voice, it's uh, it, you know it tends to allow a little bit more modulation to come through. So still really nice. Uh, let's put this down in the low power. And we got to realize that um, when we're talking AM, we want to sound clear and clean and not be too overbearingly loud. And, you know, sometimes too much is just, it's just nasty. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about when you hear people out there on the air. Sometimes somebody comes on the frequency or the channel or whatever it is and uh, everybody has to instantly turn their radio volume down because they're just too loud. This is uh, low power right here. So let me drop that down just a little bit. Okay, I can't do that. Where is it? That one. Sorry. All right. Yeah. So sometimes people are just overbearingly loud and that's a bad thing. 
you know. Nobody wants to hear somebody sounding like they're, um, what did I, I was telling my one buddy, all right, I can't remember what the word I used, but he was laughing about it, he'd never heard that before. But that's the uh, low modulation right there on AM, so that's really nice, um, very clean, you're not pinching, you're not flat topping or anything. Obviously, you know, on the 10 meter models, you can get more audio out. Do you need more audio? Not really, but they do give you more, so... You know, I'm fine with what this radio offers. I think the power is perfect, and this radio is going to be able to be used with more flexible options. Some of the 10 meter models and stuff like that, when you have that high level of power, they make them um, not as easily matchable to other things. And this radio doesn't have that problem, so it's going to match up well to some other external things and stuff like that if someone wants to use that. So, it's all set for you, Gary. Um, not too much to really go over. Um, and I'm not going to really attempt to go over a lot more of it because I need to have personal use with these to really be able to say, oh, yeah, you can just do this and do this. Obviously, I need to reference the manual right now, like what most of you probably will when you get these new. So until I get more uh, situated and actually sit and use this myself, the one that I kept for myself here, uh, I'm not going to try to demonstrate and show you guys a lot of the features because some of the things I'm still learning as I go. So, appreciate the order there, Gary, and I uh, will get this one ready to send off to you. And I uh, got some more of these on the way. I think there's a few more orders I got to work through anyways, but uh, I do have another shipment on the way next week. So I think there's still a couple left right now here that aren't sold. So, yep, we're going to keep these going for as long as I can. Hopefully, um, you know, this one will be a keeper for most of you guys and you'll enjoy it. And maybe think about going back to the normal style radio that, you know, we all used to use back in the day. Like these kind of radios and stuff like this one. Um, it's just fun to use a regular radio for CB radio, I think. And you know, that's what we have here. And uh, I think it's one of the better ones that I've seen in, in a long time. You know, keep the 10 meter stuff in the 10 meter genre and try not to compare what we have here to a 10 meter because you really can't because this is built for type acceptance. And 10 meter radios are built more for amateur stuff. So yeah, they obviously have way more features because it's an amateur radio. And some 10 meter radios, they abuse the fact that uh, they're they're calling it an amateur radio, and ideally it really isn't because they don't have features that amateur radio operators would even look for or need. They're just like um, AM and, and FM, and you can clearly tell that you know it wasn't designed for an amateur radio uh, point of view. So some of that stuff you have to fight through. And avoid you know if you're not into that then obviously avoid it but uh, you know there's a lot of nice uh, 10 meter amateur radios out there you know the QT 60 is a nice one QT 40 if you can deal with uh, you know learning how to use a radio without a dedicated counter which really doesn't matter to me program it with the computer and stuff and use it as amateur radio it works well and uh, you know go from there so enough of me blobbing on here a little bit longer than probably I should have made. Uh, I need to watch the time here because I'm about ready to go get my boy from the bus. So thanks a lot, Gary, and uh, 73, and we'll catch everybody later. Hope everybody has a good weekend.